Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zizi Africa and this video is part two of a three part video series where I share information about how I got into South Africa's best software training institution with Thinko. I'll basically be sharing all about the application process, the different steps and kind of things that I think would be helpful to keep in mind. I think this is going to be especially useful to people who have been inspired to also take on this path. If that's not you, I hope that you find this useful and you share it with someone who might benefit from this opportunity. Let's talk about the application criteria, but before I actually get into the steps and you know the boxes that you need to tick, I feel like it's very important for me to share that within code is actually quite intentional about looking for talent in places that talent is not often looked for in and also we're quite particular about um, identifying and, and, and screening for talents in ways that are different with the purpose and a very first principles thinking and that's gonna be very much reflected in the way we recruit our candidates which I'm going to share um, in this section of the video but I just felt like it was important for me to highlight that we're very passionate about serving um, students from underserved um, community within code opportunity is open to people who are between the ages of 17 and 35 years of age at the time of application. There is no prior experience required, no prior coding experience required, and also generally no prior work experience required. I wasn't asked to submit my CV, neither was I asked to submit my matric certificate or university um, you know, degree certificate. I was just required to complete the online assessment like everyone else. So quite, um, in terms of barriers to entry, that's quite, um, you know, lower than this opportunity is available to and accessible to most South Africans. Um, the third thing is that you need to be available for full-time study. This is a question that I get from a lot of people. Can I do with thing called part-time alongside a degree at a university uh, or any other, you know, you know, higher education learning institution? and or alongside a job and the answer to this is a firm no so we think it requires you to be available full time let me tell you a little bit let me give you an overview of what happens in the within code um program so the first 16 months you are on campus and you are engaging with um, material that is teaching you how to code and how to basically be an engineer and kind of build systems that work or software that works this is followed by a four month internship with one of our corporate partners and then a one year placement so for that full duration you actually have to be available um, on campus full time and by full time I mean each of us have a commitment to be on campus for at least 40 hours a week and from my own personal experience the program is quite demanding and I cannot imagine um, having done it with a full time job I don't think I would have been able to give it the attention that it's requiring of me and to be able to get the most out of the program like I'm doing now had I had a full time job coming into it. The last um, criteria is that you need to be able to hold um, a valid South African ID or a valid passport with a work permit or a valid asylum seekers work permit. Yeah, and that's really all on the criteria. Now that you know what the application criteria is, I'm sure the next question in everybody's mind is when do the applications open? Well, for the 2022 cohort, um, which is, this is the group of students who would start around September 2022, applications opened on the 1st of October 2021 and will remain open until about March 2022. Now, this may change um, as in that this application window period might be extended beyond March 2022 and I think to stay um, updated on you know whether that change is happening or not um, please can you just stay connected with us on our YouTube page our Instagram page our Facebook page and or our Twitter page and all the information about our pages are on the description box below cool so now how do you apply so um, I need to first say this the applications are online a big chunk of the full application process is online and i'll get clear about why i said a big chunk as i progress you'll get clear about that but let me just go through the steps and everything will be clear to you guys so the first step in the application process is that you go online you go onto our website this is apply everythingco.co.za and the first step you will be expected to complete is the one where you fill in um, our online form with your contact details at this stage you'll be expected 
to fill in your valid South African cell phone number as well as your email address and you'll be expected to also verify them. The cell phone number you'll be expected to verify via OTP, the email you'll be expected to verify via I think opening the actual email and clicking on the email link sent to you. Yeah. So part two of this um, information filling process is you'll be expected to provide your personal information. So these are things like your name, your surname, your gender, your municipality that you live in, all that sort of stuff that's around in your personal information. Okay, that's step one. Step two is for you to take our online assessment. Now the online assessment is one hour long and it um, is meant to test your reasoning ability, your logical ability, and a host of other things that we need to test for to evaluate your, I guess, readiness and your ability to be able to um, su successfully complete the program. Yes, for the first bit of the application process, which is the filling in your personal information as well as the online assessment, I would suggest that you budget about um, two hours of um, consistent internet um, connection uh yeah guys i think just generally um a piece of advice that i'd give you besides having reliable um internet connection is that you also should just check that your battery is not gonna run low somewhere along that two hours because if you do get logged out of the online assessment before you complete it you may not be able to um, apply again within the current application cycle you may end up having to wait for the next application cycle and you don't want that to happen to you so also please do check things like your load shedding schedule just to make sure that while you're doing the online assessment you are not interrupted Cool. So once you complete the online assessment, there's three possible outcomes. The first possible outcome is that you are unsuccessful in your online assessment. And in this case, um, you are, fortunately enough, will be allowed to apply again in the next application cycle if you want to. And I would encourage that if you do not make it um, in the first time you attempt, please do feel it. please be encouraged to apply again. We have people who have not made it and apply again in the next cycle and actually get into the program. Now, the second um, possible outcome is that you get put on the waiting list. If you do get put on the waiting list, you will have a final answer which is either whether you're successful or unsuccessful after a month of having completed the online assessment. The third um, possible outcome, which is the one I wish for everybody, is you'll be immediately successful um, and then you will qualify for bootcamp, which is step three of the application cycle. Okay, now bootcamp is a six day selection um, process where you, do, you get invited to come onto campus. There is also a virtual version of it now, but let's just go with the one where you get um, invited to campus. I feel more comfortable to speak on that one because that's the one I actually did. So you get to campus, you get introduced to now coding material. Now remember the online assessment doesn't necessarily assess code specifically. The first time you actually are assessed in terms of actual code and you're expected to learn code is when you're actually in bootcamp. So you get given material to learn from. This can be in the form of articles, links to articles. It can be in the form of links to videos or actual material that has been written by the thin code. You get you are expected to now familiarize yourself with this material. You get given some um, practice questions to complete. There's also individual projects. There's also a group project um, that you have to actually complete alongside your group mates and actually present to um, technical mentors. And at the end, there's an exam. Now, this was our bootcamp, and I speak a lot on bootcamp in the third part of the series, which is the video that's coming out next week. And the fourth part is the final interview. You, again, you qualify for the final interview if you have made it successfully through boot camp. In the final interview, well at least in the case of my final interview, the focus was more on understanding me as a person, what am I passionate about, what am I passionate about contributing to the community of Within Code, to the community of software development in South Africa and beyond, and just generally how I was intending on just enriching the community through my presence that sort of thing it's it's really meant well what i gathered is that it's really meant to be a cultural a test on whether you, you do fit the organization from a cultural perspective that's it on the application process i really hope that this equips you to 
get started if your intention is to apply. Um, and yeah, just the first step you can take is go to apply everything called .co.za and just, you know, relook at the steps. And then I would encourage you to actually right now do fill in part one of the application process, which is your personal and your contact information. And then just set aside time in your calendar where you'll do the one hour long assessment. And you know, if you get into boot camp, please watch my video on how I successfully navigated bootcamp. And yeah, I really hope that you win. I hope that you get through successfully. If you have questions along the way, um, you feel free to drop me a DM. You can also drop us a DM on our Instagram page, our Facebook page, or our Twitter page. I'll leave the links to all the socials um, you know in the description box so thank you so much for watching this video please do um click the like button if you liked it feel free to subscribe and become part of this family and yeah man if this video you think it could be beneficial for anyone to see this especially you know those matriculants who are writing their final year exams right now or any just youth that um, meets the criteria that you think might be interested please share this with them and yeah if you are applying all the best and may the code be with you.